Okay, I've been having some troubles with the phone. I uh, can't have been un, unable to upload and the email's all locked up. I, I'm not receiving anybody's comments or messages or any of that kind of stuff. But for whatever reason, um, it looks like I can upload now. So I'll continue as long as I can here until something else happens. All right, at this point, we it's safe to say I think that with the information that I provided so far that at the very least you should see that there's more to the story much more to the story and to the particular chapter of 14 of Isaiah concerning Lucifer and his identity okay it's just not so cut and dry you can't just pick one verse out and then use, you know, 14 other Bibles or how many other Bibles. It doesn't matter how many Bibles you use. All of those Bibles are still talking about the same original story. Okay, so we're talking about a singular understanding of a historical figure. We're, we're dealing with a real identity, a real personality. And that that personality has been given a title. And the reason that personality has been given a title is because this personality hails from off-world. We're talking Lucifer. So, because we don't know the language, the spirit language or the utterance of the realm in which this being comes from, we're left with the most logical conclusion. And that's to offer this identity, this spirit identity, a title definition that comes from our own earthbound language. And that's exactly what's happened. So, all of these beings, these spirit beings, are being given titled definitions that are best descriptive of their true character identity. So Lucifer, as being the light bearer, that title is descriptive of the rebellion. It's descriptive of what he believes himself to be doing as he's leading this rebellion. He believes that he is giving this light. That's what the rebellion is all about. That's why he, he himself is being titled or clarified in human language as bringing the light. And that's why you would see the Masons and the secret society and the ancient Babylonian religions, they all revere this light bearer. Now that should make total sense. Now this is where we begin to have the connection with now these philosophically aligned people with these ancient mystery religions via the influence of the New Age doctrine. Now they're beginning to align themselves with the very worship and association of this original light bearer. Just like you see, Starscream himself has been for a very long time talking bad about the Bible, anybody that would read about it, at least from the light that I can see in his comments that he's given. He calls all these people that talk about the Bible indoctrinated f fools and all this stuff. Well, now he himself is using the Bible doctrine. But you see that he's trying to use it to validate that this God, the light bearer, just like all of these other mystery religions, the whole agenda of these fallen sons of God from the beginning of this calamity is, is to promote this being, this rebellious being as the true God, the true benefactor of wisdom on our world. And that's what he seeks to represent. Now, why is that so dangerous? Many of you are like, wow, well, if he's bringing knowledge and he's bringing wisdom and somehow this was being denied, well, yeah, it would have some sort of case that you could say, well, maybe Lucifer is representing something of good to this world, which is being denied to it. Well, look what his influence has done on this world. Guess what? You're missing the story of the Garden of Eden. They accepted the apple. They accepted the influence of the serpent, of the light bearer. Now look at our world. Look what it did to it. All of this murder, this injustice, this ego, this crime, this selfishness, this pride, this wrath, this enmity is all a product of this influence of the light bearer. It's because of the, the type of light that he brought is being defined as liberty. But what he's liberating you from is the true progress of the straight and narrow path of Jesus Christ, which in the end guarantees perfection by experience and that he's not giving you something early. I'll be back.